Hey guys, it's me Tim Balls, and today I'm going to be doing the 8 hour location high score challenge. This is something I made up last night where I'm going to drive around to as many locations as I can in the area and try to put my initials up on at least one game in every location. Once I do, I'm going to move on. I'm going to try to get as many as I can by 8 p.m., which is pretty much the time where most places will close because it's Sunday today. So let's see what we can do. So in order to plan for this trip, I went to Pinball Map. Dot com. Pinball map is definitely the most accurate map of pinball machines in North America. It is user maintained, so you will find some locations that are out of date and don't have all the right stuff in there. But generally, you go to your region, and I usually just hit the search button right away, and it gives you a nice little list of all the different locations. You can scroll through on the left here, find out which ones have which games, and then you can zoom in on the map and see where you want to go. My plan, I started in Poughkeepsie year, was to kind of go up around this little NASCAR loop all the way around and then come back up. So I looked at here, Roller Magic, this place was closed, so my first stop was going to be Roll In Lanes in Red Hook, New York. So the rules of this challenge are pretty simple. You have eight hours to get initials up on a pinball machine at as many locations as possible. You cannot take any breaks, you have to do these eight hours straight. You must plunge the first ball at the start of your hour, and you must plunge the first ball your last game before the eight hour period is up. Once you get a high score on a game at a location, you don't need to stay. There's no more points you can get at that location no matter how many pinball machines they have. All right, so I'm here at Rollin' Lanes in Rhinebeck, New York, kind of middle of nowhere. See, it's got a nice mini golf course outside, and uh, doors are open, but I think this, just this one person's here, no one else is in the parking lot except for me, so it's just going to be me playing pinball in here. So I'm here at Roll-In Lanes in Rhinebeck, New York, and they've got a bit of an arcade here. We got some whack-a-moles, some Mortal Kombat, Target Terror, a little uh, coin dump game, a bunch of coin dump games over here. And back here you got the skill games, you got Ski Ball, Basket Fever, and a nice collection of pinball machines here. The left flipper is a little low, so I didn't try that one. Fun House, and that's my score on Playboy, yeah. <laughs> which is enough for the Grand Champion. So, as much as I'd love to stay and play more of this great uh, PG Playboy, I have to go and play some more games. Alright, so it's 1.16 p.m. We're heading over to Snapper McGee's. Still a beautiful day out. I'm gonna be driving with the windows down because it's so nice out. Yo, it's nice out. I got them quarters. Feel me. Um, I'm gonna be driving down to the other side of the Hudson River, so we're gonna see what we can do. So the next location I visited was Snapper McGee's in Kingston, New York. This is a real local bar, and it did not have ACDC Pro. It had a Dale Jr. pinball machine. Uh, it looks like a bar on the inside, and I got high score three, and I didn't want to play Dale Jr. anymore, so I decided I was gonna leave Snapper McGee's. Okay guys, it's 2.15 and I'm here at the Hurley Mountain Inn in what I guess is Hurley, New York. Looks pretty small, I got a bridge over here. Got a little gas station thing and I don't know, it looks like a bit of a biker bar so I'm gonna go inside and see if there is a pinball machine here. Well there were definitely a bunch of football games on uh, and a bunch of people here were watching the Jets lose to the Bills. There's also a little arcade in the back. Uh, with this strange Budweiser salutes the U.S. Army sign, and also a Theater of Magic, which I wound up getting high score for. This is not a buy-in score. This is legitimate, uh, or else it would say buy-in score. So that was my visit to this place. I also got a burger. It was terrible. Don't eat their burgers. How's it going? Having fun? 
For my fourth stop, I went to Village Pizza in New Paltz, New York. A nice little town. I'd been here before. The only location I'd been to before, I knew they had both Medieval Madness and Attack from Mars. 13 billion was the score on Attack from Mars. I decided to focus on Medieval Madness, which was 43 million, until the castle gate broke, and then I wasn't able to get anything, so I left after like an hour. The next three locations I visited did not have any pinball machines. One was a taxi dispatch in New Paltz. One was a bar which was having a fundraiser for someone getting a double lung transplant. Sounds very scary. And the third was the Orange County Choppers Cafe in Newburgh, New York. Uh, this is the filming location of the famous reality television show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Check it out on TLC. Also, they had a nice arcade, a bunch of Raw Thrills games, and a bowling alley in the middle. Looked fun. I didn't stick around. Okay, I'm at Pat's Pub at uh, Pat Syro's Bowling Time Lanes. I don't know why Bowling Alley's never put a big sign in the front that says, this is the entrance to the Bowling Alley. But they got a nice sign up for here. This is about as genuine as it gets for a Bowling Alley built in the 70s. Oh, nice strike right there. Really nice graphic above these lanes here. I really liked it. They had this one Terminator 2 game in kind of sorry shape. That head is not looking where it's supposed to be. You've got one Bally Flipper and one Williams Flipper on the game for some reason. Uh, I still managed to get two Super Jackpots and take down the Grand Champion. So take that, Pat Syro. So after yet another location with no pinball machine anymore, I made it to the White House in Washington, D.C. Where they had a junkyard pinball machine with absolutely no GI. I don't enjoy playing junkyard because the scoring is totally out of balance. It makes no sense, but 10 million is a factory high score. Sure enough, I got 10 million and 700,000 and I hightailed it out of there. Also, right before I left, this guy stopped me to ask if I could use my camera to film his open mic that night. And I said, uh, I got somewhere to be. And it was true. I had one more location to visit. So I go over to the last location. It's about 7.15. And through the window, I spot a getaway sitting in the arcade. So I go, great, you know, probably a game I can get a score on. Walk into the arcade and I start hearing this insanely annoying noise. On top of this, Getaway has four balls inside of it. How many is it supposed to have? It's supposed to have three balls. What happens when it has four balls? It kicks out two at the same time, and when one drains, it ends the ball. Wind up spending the rest of my 45 minutes here. I didn't have any other locations to go to. This was the last location of the night, and I wound up with a total of five locations in eight hours. A lot of this time I spent driving, a lot of the time I spent looking for locations that didn't have any games, but all the locations that had factory scores on the display I was able to take down. So thanks for watching and I'm looking forward to see if other people will try this and how many locations other players can get. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment and a like if you like this video and I'll be sure to make more things like this in the future.